Hello, my name is Samuel Keith Harris, and welcome back to another episode of Morning Devotionals. Let's start our day with Jesus. Father, I thank you that we can come into your presence, Lord, and read your word. Teach us your word. Pour out the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of you upon us, Lord, so that we can see, hear, and understand, and shine forth with your glory and the fruits of the Holy Spirit as you form the godly character through us lord it's in your precious holy name we pray and everybody said amen well if you have your bible turn to deuteronomy chapter 6 i'm going to take my text from deuteronomy chapter 6 and i will be in verse 4 the scripture says in deuteronomy 6 4 hear o israel the lord is our god the lord is one you shall love the lord your god with all of your heart with all of your soul and with all of your might. I love this scripture. Jesus echoes it in the New Testament. And the scripture says, you shall love the Lord your God with all of your heart and your soul and your might. We should not look at this as something that's unattainable, but as something that's experiential. We really can love the Lord our God with everything that we are. But what does it take? It takes a denying of fleshly desires and a pursuit of God. It takes a fleeing youthful lust and pursuing righteousness and pursuing our God. And the next verse says, These words which I am commanding you today shall be on your heart. So whatever the Lord teaches us, we're to keep it in our heart. We're to meditate upon it. David says it like this, May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, my my Lord, my rock, and my redeemer. You shall teach them, verse 7, diligently to your sons and shall talk of them when you sit in your house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise up. So the scripture tells us that we should be talking about the word of God at all times. We should encourage each other with the word of God. We should correct each other with the word of God. We should find all of our satisfaction and joy from the words of life. For these are Jesus' words to us. They're powerful. They'll quicken us to live according to his ways and to enjoy and to love our God. So it says, verse 8, You shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and then let them be as frontals on your forehead. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. This just speaks of you recalling them to remembrance at all times, everywhere you go, at your house. Make sure that your house is built on the word of God. Make sure everywhere you look, your family is taken care of and living for the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We don't care what the wicked world does. We're going to serve the Lord Jesus and we're going to make him known by our lives lived but back to verse 7 you shall teach them diligently to your sons and shall talk of them when you sit in your house when you walk by the way when you go on trips do you talk about the lord or do you just forget the lord at home right the the word of god speaks of being intoxicated with hunger and desire for him and the lord says blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness for they shall be filled so father i pray that we would hunger and that we would thirst after you that we would long for you more than we ever have before. Everybody that's listening to me, Lord, I pray that a hunger would arise in their heart to seek you and to know you, Lord, because when they seek you, I know that they'll find you because you gave us that promise in your scriptures. So we love you, Lord. Be glorified today through our lives. May each and every person live in obedience to your word and to your commands and make you known by the way they live. It's in Jesus' precious name I pray. And everybody said, Amen. Well, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Morning Devotionals, and I will see you next time.